Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with blogtree.com. Please like this video if you find it useful and subscribe to Blogtree videos on YouTube. This is a review of the Jacques Dro Grand Second Quantium and that noise is a text message. <laughs> um, this is an interesting, how should I say, um, take on sort of the original Jacques Dro type of design. The most distinguishing factor of this watch, surprisingly, is that it is in steel. Uh, Jacques Dro has for a long time wanted to have only a high-end brand featuring only um, gold and platinum and things like that watches and they decided recently to say you know what we're, we're too expensive we need to have some watches in steel as well which are more affordable. This isn't a cheap watch by any means but it's cheaper. And then the Quantium part of it has to do with the fact that there is a calendar in here as well. There's a date. So the traditional dr Grand Second style basically had something very specific where you had the minutes and hours in the smaller dial up here and the seconds in a lower dial and it created this figure eight look and the rest of the dial was empty and had um, some decorations and things like that. This particular version has this gray dial and Jacques Edro calls it their technical dial. Um, why is it called the technical dial? Well, because it has um, this special way it's made, it uses some type of an acid bath or something like that and has these numbers come up. It's actually kind of cool. It's really hard to photograph because you can see the crystal here, um, just the way it's shaped has a lot of glare on there so it's hard to see. This version comes in two dial faces. One has this gray um, look to it and another version has um, a more steel look that I think is a little bit easier to read. I um, probably tend to prefer the other one, but this is the one I have for review, so I'm showing to you. Um, you can see the movement back there. It's an automatic. Uh, Jacques Hedro uses uh, Frederic Piguet, or otherwise known as um, manufactured Blanc Pond movements, part of the Swatch Group. Um, these are the higher end ones. This is like, this is again, as I said in the other Jacques Hedro review, like a very high end Edda. It's nicely decorated. It's a good movement. It's attractive. Um, and these ones are made specially for Jacques Hedro. So in the seconds dial here, you can see that there's a different hand, and that's for the date. And you can pull it out, and you can um, adjust the date that way. You can see the little hand moving there. Um, it's, it's, it's a well-functioning watch. It's attractive. I like it. The addition of the date is a nice feature there. Um, the case is, is good. You know, it's a steel case. It's about 42 millimeters wide. Nice um, alligator strap here. It's thin. Um, the strap, I'll tell you what, until you get it kind of like um, fitted to you, it's it's a little on the difficult side here to get the clasp closed um, to hold it because it wants to kind of open up a little bit. But on the wrist, you know, there it is. It's it's quite nice. Um, and again, this is this is. Uh, I'm gonna clean it off there. Yeah, mm, nice and clean. <laughs> again, this is the Quantium. The, oh, sorry, the the Grand Second Quantium by Jacques Dro. Retail price on this, I think, is about ninety three hundred dollars. Um, again, that's up there, but this is this is Jacques Hedro we're talking about. Brand with a cool history, um, and again, this represents one of the uh, arguably more affordable options, and also a little bit different if you don't want the the standard Grand Second, you want to have an additional complication there with the date. You can see the full review on a blog to read.com. Thanks.